Hi, this is uh, PGM98387 uh, coming to you from the Pacific Northwest, uh, Western Washington, uh, just out of uh, Tacoma. And it's uh, towards the end of August now, and uh, I've been shot looking around for uh, panels, monocrystalline panels, and I found these um, panels here. And they were available through a company called Platt Electric and they have uh, several different uh, offices normally they're an industrial electrical supply and I was able to purchase these at cost pretty close to uh, wholesale um, they were four hundred fifty six dollars a piece and they are composed of sixty monocrystalline um, encapsulated uh, cells and they have a nominal uh, maximum uh, power output of uh, 30.8 volts so they are um, nominal 24 volt panels and what I what I'm going to do is um, hook these up to my battery bank uh, via a uh, charge controller now I think you're not supposed to do it but there is a way to down there is a way to make the voltage go from from that to a uh, 14 volt and put it through a uh, a uh, pulse whip modulated charge controller. I don't kind of want to do that. I'd like to get it um, get them on a multi power point tracking, which they're supposed to be. And they have the MC connectors, and these are the the style, the MC2 style, and hook those up to a uh, cable. I opened this up, but it's encapsulated in uh, in uh, silicon, so you can't really take these off. You can see the price I paid for them here. Um, there's two of them, and this is Platt Electric. I'll put the uh, link on the uh, below where to get them if they still have any left, because they were, they were selling these out pretty fast. They're really nice, you know, they're all encapsulated and they're made in the USA. Here's the uh, specs on them. You can see how big it is. <laughs> These are huge. 245 watts, 24 volt, nominal voltage. And it's going to be, you know, some work. I'm going to have to plan this out. They have available also the ra rails for mounting on a composition roof. Um, or you can ground mount them onto a um, onto rails which I think I'm going to try to do and if, if it doesn't look like they would do well on the ground I'll put them on my roof but I'm concerned it's a manufactured home and I'm these two panels together probably with the flashing and the rails and the other hardware probably close to 120 pounds on my roof so I'm concerned about you know load the load bearing of the roof and also I need to get it properly wired uh, to a junction box or a um, or maybe just through a conduit off the roof and then bury the wire to the shop the small shop that I have and run it through a um, an MPPT charge controller these two so I'm almost you know that that's almost 500 watts of power right there you know for thousand dollars in you know the charge controller the wiring and the mounting rails and 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 uh, the connections and that I'm probably gonna run me another five hundred dollars and then the charger will be probably five or six hundred so close to you know roughly two thousand dollars I'll have five hundred watts of electrical power, you know, plus the batteries. I didn't even include those. The batteries probably, you know, since I already have them, 12 volt battery system. And 
These are pretty nice the way they have these. These are really professional. So everything done properly, hooked up and set up. I have another 500 watts. So I'll, I'll have uh, about a kilowatt system running. Which will be pretty nice. These are good. Really good and made in USA. They're made locally here in uh, Pacific Northwest. Pretty sturdy. Huge. You can see how big they are. 60 inches by... Or 66 inches by 40 inches. And then these are junction boxes flush, which is nice. And I noticed just having them out in the sun for a little bit when I was moving them, when I got them out of a, a friend of mine helped me deliver them here uh, from the Platt Electric, that's the name of the place. They were getting hot in the sun, you know. Just I've noticed that about the panels. They do get hot. The sun really heats them up. They absorb the heat. So having them on the roof, you really got to make sure they're off. You can't have the roof too close to the panel rack. You have to you have to have a gap, an air gap. You have to have a good air gap between your panel and your roof. Because even I've noticed them on the rails. I go by the rails, the polycrystallines, the sharp, and the uh, and the two Curacera panels I have there they're, they really put out a lot of heat I mean you can't you touch the panel and it's it's hot to the touch so anyhow the next time you see me make a video it'll be on the um, these things up and running there's my cat that's manly he was born here yeah he's I like boxes and and I just want to shout out to Field 16. Hey, thanks for letting me know about that grass with the cats. They really like to eat the grass and you cut it and bring it inside because these guys are indoor cats and growing wheatgrass is kind of hard, but just going outside and cutting grass, they like that. So, it's a PGM 98387 uh, here in the Pacific Northwest signing off.